Yeah. Please mute yourselves by hitting the button on your um, bottom left corner, the mute button. Um, this is to avoid echo and disturbance during the meeting. Uh, for those of you that are calling in, you can ask your questions after the presentation is done. And for those of you that are online using the WebEx profile, you can ask your questions using the, the chat button on the bottom right corner of the screen. This public meeting is for the Woodway and Sam Colorway um, Street Maintenance Project. My name is Ire Tomiwa Otuyelu. I go by Tommy. I'm a graduate engineer for the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. And today is March 10, 2021. This meeting is being recorded and it will be posted on the city's media channel. Once again, this is the Woodway and Sam Calloway Street Maintenance Project. I'm Tommy. The city inspector for this project will be Julius McLaurin. The contractor for this project will be Texas Beat. Uh, the construction cost is approximately $1.3 million, um, give or take a few thousand dollars. Uh, the construction is expected to start on May 3rd and expected to complete uh, November 2021, um, given that all, all things go, go as planned. The map on the screen right now shows the project limits. We'll be working on sections of um, Woodway Drive from Altamesa Boulevard all the way up to Trail Lake Drive. That's the section um, painted red right now. And we'll also be going up north, like uptown to um, San Calloway Road from River Oaks Boulevard all the way up to Black Oak Lane. The planned work, um, we we took the opportunity to, to visit the, the uh, proposed streets and we observed that some um, curb ramps that were there were either ADA non-compliant or they were non-existent. So we're gonna be fixing those. We're gonna be changing them to um, the more current ADA compliant uh, curb ramps. Some sidewalks were um, in poor conditions. So we'll be um, replacing those sidewalks, sections of those of the sidewalks that, that need replacements. Um, this goes um, the same for the carbon gutters. Um, those carbon, um, sections of carbon gutters that are in poor conditions, we're gonna have to um, fix those too and make them um, up to up to par. We'll be working on some uh, some driveway approaches, um, select driveway approaches that might be um, damaged or in poor conditions and or that might need some um, expansion to meet the current city city code. Those roadways that I showed you earlier. Um, will be resurfaced, so they will be milled two inches. So that that means they will be um, the road surfaces will be um, taken off by, by two inches. The, the top two inches will be taken off, and then we'll overlay them with two inches of asphalt. Um, the pictures here show the the current situation of the roadway, and the pic that's the pictures on the left show the current situation of the roadways. And the picture on the right shows what the roadway is going to look like when we're done with our project. As we can see here, the um, condition of the curb, it seems really, it looks really bad. It's in poor condition. So we, we're going to have to take that off re and replace it with a, a, a new one, a fresh concrete curb and gutter. It's going to look like this when we're done uh, with the picture on the right. Um, the concrete curb ramps, they are very old. They are no longer ADA compliant. Um, we're going to replace them and we're going to have it look like something like this um, on the picture on the right um, with more uh, with a, a current ADA compliant ramp with the ramp tile. You can see the difference here. And the, the concrete sidewalks too. On this one, we can see that the, um, there are some settlements between um, the panels of the, the sidewalk, and this can cause some tripping hazards for um, people walking on the sidewalks or or um, the, the people with disabilities trying to roll down the, the sidewalk. So we're going to have to replace those panels against their 
Uh, again, there are selected panels. Uh, we're not gonna have we 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 don't have to um, replace the whole street, the whole sidewalks, but we'll be we'll be working on select panels that seem pretty bad and in poor conditions. And by the time we are done, by the time we are done, um, the sidewalks are gonna be looking like this, more even and with with a, a flat surface for easy walk by and and what have you. These pictures show uh, our operation, what what they're going to be, what, what the the kind of equipment that we'll be having on the streets, what what we what we're gonna what they're gonna look like when they're done. This is the milling operation. As you can see, the equipment is taking off two inches. It, again, for this project, it's gonna be two inches of uh, top surface that's gonna be removed. And when we're done, it's gonna look like when when they're done with the milling, it's gonna look like this on the right. Uh, two inches of Top software that's taken off the road. Uh, now we have our asphalt paving machine that's going to come after the um, after the pa the milling of the road. Again, it's going to be an overlay of two inches of, of asphalt. It's going to be um, by the time we're done, it's going to look like this um, picture on the right. We're going to, of course, we're going to have uh, our traffic markings when we're done with the pavement and make it, and make sure that we don't have any issues with the base or or any other issues as far as um, the roadway construction is concerned. Um, some of the things that the uh, residents could expect during construction would include um, um, a lot of construction equipment on sites for uh, for the streets that we'll be working on because we we um, we're going to be taking them. Um, I think we're going to start with the Woodway Woodway Road and then we'll move up to some Callaway Road. So um, we'll be expecting construction equipment throughout the project area. Park parking availability might be limited um, depending on what section of the road that you're working on at that time. So um, especially for for residents that. Um, that live by the by the street or um, business entities that live by the street, there there will be there will be loud construction noises during um, during um, working hours, and of course there will be there will be do construction dust during working hours. We would um, make every effort to reduce uh, the dust pollution during construction. Efforts to minimize construction impacts include um, notices that will be provided at various times during construction, um, just to notify well, whatever residents or business entity that might be affected um, when, it, when it gets to their section of the road. Construction signage will be placed around the sites to notify um, residents and, and passerby, passersby for any um, construction activities that will be going on. Any temporary closures on the streets will be communicated in advance, again, to notify anybody that's, that might be passing by or commuters or what have you. Construction equipment will not be staged in areas that prohibit residential access and parking. So again, uh, we're not, we will try as much as possible not to affect, uh, not to impact residential parking, but again, this is construction and, and we try as much as possible not to impact the citizens. Any changes to garbage and US postal services will be communicated in advance and residents will be informed throughout um, the construction of any um, any activities that might be going on that's going to affect um, the residents or the business entities around the area. Regular working hours are Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And permission for occasional weekend work may be granted if required. Um, my contact information is on the screen. Um, once again, I'm Tommy Otuyelu. My phone number is 817-392-6747. If you have any questions, you can call me on that number. And my email address is iretomiwa.otuyelu at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can contact me by phone number or by my email address. My email address is on the screen. Again, that's iretomiwa otuyelu at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, now it's time for questions, if we have any questions. All 
Are the residents going to be uh, charged a fee or of any kind? No, the residents are not going to be charged any fee. Um, this is a contract that's been paid for and um, and it's been on the budget by the city. Thank you. Questions? Um, okay, I know I know the question on, on the chat box has been answered by Julius. Um, again, just to um, just to reiterate, no new sidewalks will be constructed. Um, it's only uh, sidewalks that are in poor conditions and cobs and gutters that are in uh, poor conditions. We will be replacing the old ADA curb, curb ramps. And um, in places where there are no existing curb ramps, we are going to have to put new ones there. But um, aside that, we're not we're not doing any new construction on any any parts of the street. This is a maintenance project. So, if you have a sidewalk beside your house, is that is it going to be affected? If the sidewalk is in poor condition right now. Yes, we'll have to um, replace that that section that's that's in poor condition. But if it's if it's good, then we don't have to touch we don't have to touch the sidewalks. Um. Do we have any other questions? Any um, suggestions from my colleagues? I think that was clear. You did a good job. Thank you. Thanks. Tommy, we had one more come in on chat. Once the work starts on Woodway, do you have an estimated time to completion? Um, the the contract in general is expected to be um, done by the first week of November. Um, I cannot I can't give you um, an exact time because again the contractors have that um, window of 210 days to complete um, their project, so they are allowed to work um, in whatever schedule they want to. And it starts when May third. The construction period, um, the project construction starts May 3rd and it's expected to be completed in November 2021. Yeah, uh, the reason for doing it in May because there's two schools on the road and want to make sure that we're not affecting uh, the traffic and the kids walking into the school or any vehicles. Okay. Is there any other questions? Um, okay, and please, every every resident that's that's um, present right now, you are encouraged to um, to share this meeting with your neighbors and and let them know. In case just just in case anyone hasn't heard, but I'm I'm quite sure everyone got the flyers about the upcoming construction in the neighborhood. Okay, so if we don't have any questions, um, we are going to call this meeting to a close. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you.